morning. All stunts performed in this video were conducted by trained professionals in a safe, controlled environment. Super safe. Do not try this at home. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today is probably my most favorite video ever. This has probably been my most requested video for the past three years, man. Time after time, every time I unbox a new gun, everyone in the comments telling me, buy an ARP, buy an ARP. Well, today, we made it happen, man. I don't even, I don't even feel like this video going to do it justice because I've just been wanting this thing for so long. I've been on the market for it for a little bit, over a month now, trying to find it online. It's been sold out everywhere, bro. Like, it's been a pain in the butt trying to find this thing, bro. I had to pull some strings to get it, but let's just get straight into it, man. So, y'all know that my first AR was the Daniel Defense DDM4 V7. I love this thing so much that I bought it again, but this time it's a pistol, man. So let's put this down and open up this thing. We gonna have to do a video comparing the two, but I feel like this is not gonna do it justice, but here we go. This is the stuff that make a grown man cry right here, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, my girlfriend probably gonna be mad watching this video because I don't even know if I'm gonna cry like this at my wedding, bro. Like, when I see my wife walking down the aisle, bro, like, like, bro. I've been wanting this for so long, bro. For so long. The DD M4 V7P Law Tactical. Law Tactical Adapter. If y'all don't know what that means, it means that it folds. The buffer tube folds. This thing is a 10.3 inch barrel. Let me get myself together, bro, hold on. I'm trying to give y'all the specs and I'm over here, bro. Like, my eyes actually got watery, bro. Like, this is not, this is no faking, bro. Y'all think I'm exaggerating? No, bro, like. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. This is my first ARP. This is my first ARP. And it's, it's the best ARP ever. Other than the Mark 18, you feel what I'm saying? I was really in competition between the Mark 18 and the DDM4 V7P. What ultimately led me to uh, buy this over the Mark 18 was I really like the M-Lock handguard. I really love all the uh, features that it comes with. I like the slimness, you know, all the accessories. I like the M-Lock over Picatinny, but we'll get into that later. But, bro, look at this thing. Like, I'm talking about... Bro, Daniel Defense, I could just talk about it all day, you feel what I'm saying? But we'll, we'll wait a second. I'm just going to let y'all look at it. Law Tactical Folding Adapter. Boom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I did want to get it in all black. It was sold out. I'm telling y'all, bro. Type in DDM4 V7 online. Go to Daniel Defense website. All these other gun websites, bro. It is sold out everywhere. I had to make a couple of phone calls. I'm talking about back to back, like. How can I help? For what I'm saying, I made it happen. But I figured that if I got the FDE, it would make a solid loadout for my 19X because my 19X is black and brown. And it's not quite the same as the FDE, but you feel what I'm saying? Brown and black, is that brown and black? I don't know, it don't really go, I ain't gonna lie. I might gotta get this 19X frame Cerakoted to be FDE, so then I can have the FDE Glock with the FDE ARP. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and y'all see that I got my FDE pants on today, you feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't understand how happy I was when I woke up this morning, bruh. Like, imagine a kid on Christmas. But then imagine a grown man buying a new gun. I woke up. Boy, I ain't never been that happy to wake up in my life, boy. I'm talking about I woke up, brushed my teeth, took my vitamins, and I got dressed so quick. I got dressed so quick. Rushed down to that uh, gun, gun store. I can't even speak right now. But now that y'all see it, I'm going to let y'all get some close-ups first. DDM4 V7P. This is the FDE finish on it.
nice rubber texture pistol grip. We got a mil spec trigger in there. Um, I will be making a lot, a lot, when I say a lot, a lot of upgrades to this thing. Right now, retail for this, I don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about money, bro, because money, it's going to be tight, bro. No more guns until the summertime. This thing is retailed at $2,469. 2500 bro. 2500 I had to get this thing on Cordova. You know, you feel what I'm saying? You make monthly payments on this thing. I'm not going to pay this thing off until, like, I think 2072 or something. You feel what I'm saying? I got $20 payments for the rest of my life. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Smash that like button because, good lord. $2,500, it won't even got no attachments yet. No sights, no optic, no light, no hand stop, no pistol brace. You feel what I'm saying? No trigger, bro. I'm trying to like deck this thing out. So the money that I'm putting into this thing is going to be more than it cost. You feel what I'm saying? So we starting off right here, $2,500. Now we got to upgrade, you feel what I'm saying? But $2,500, um, <sighs> whew. We got the QD sling attachments. As you can tell, there's one right here, one right here, another right there. Um, on the back side, we got one right here. Actually got one behind the Law Tactical Adapter as well. So I already ordered everything. I'm talking about, <laughs> wait for the next video, bro. This thing is about to go from like a eight out of 10 to 11 out of 10. Like right now, I get this thing like a smooth eight. Actually a seven, cause you need to put at least some, some sights on it. Put some sights on it, it's like a 7 out of 10. I already got the sights. I'll put them on right now if y'all want me to, but I was just trying to give y'all to feel me. I'm getting a little too excited. I get this thing like a 7 out of 10 right now. But once I finish suiting this thing up, it's going to be broke my scale. This is going to be the first broke my scale. Whew. Good Lord, bro. So, Law Tactical Adapting Brace. Um, I already have two brace options coming in. I don't want to spoil too much, but hey, <laughs> oh, bro, calm down, bro. Calm down. My fault, bro. Like, I'm really like too turnt right now, and I've been drinking my little energy drink. I ain't gonna lie, bro. These folks need to sponsor me, bro. These folk need to sponsor me. I don't promote the use of energy drinks, but some days I just be needing that little extra boost. This a this a do it for me. All right, like I said, quick rundown. Uh, we got the Daniel Defense charging handle, Law uh, Tactical Adapter. Um, right here, I got the SBA-4 pistol brace, but I also ordered the SBA-3 because I want to try both and see which one I like more. I have a feeling I'm going to like the SBA-3 better, so I might got to kick this thing to the curb or I could keep it around for another gun, but... I did pick up the SBA-4, SBA-3. I also got this dookie butt, dookie dookie pistol brace. Um, This is what it initially came with. I removed it. This thing is butt. I'm going to show y'all why. For right now, for today, when I go to the range, yes, I'm taking this thing to the range today. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, It's going to do its job. Um, The reason why this is trash is because it doesn't lock into place. So when you are using it as a brace, you feel me? When you're using it as a brace, it could potentially slide left and right. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, who wants to use a brace like this when your arm, your arm going to get twisted over? You feel what I'm saying? This is supposed to remain straight. It's twisting and turning. That's no good. You feel what I'm saying? So, this brace, I'm about to throw this thing in the trash, boy. This thing is dookie. I don't want it. All right. Now that that's out the way. Right now, I currently have the Daniel Defense flash hider on this. I will be replacing the muzzle device and I will be suppressing this. So my first can, I just went through the process of purchasing my first can, man. This might take a while. So if y'all are not uh, familiar with the process of purchasing a silencer, it normally takes anywhere between like nine to 12 months. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can work my magic and speed up that process, but I don't know people that's waited over a year for their suppressor. So, <sighs> bro, I have to run around with this thing unsuppressed for a whole year? Like a whole year, bro? Like, I'm not gonna lie. God got me, but like some people might not see next year, bro. Like, I wonder how many people done filled out the application process to get a suppressor 
that wasn't around in nine months. You feel what I'm saying? I can't guarantee what I'm what I'm gonna be doing in nine months, bro. But you feel what I'm saying? I filled out the paperwork. This will be getting suppressed. <laughs> you know, this is chambered in 556. They do have another version that's chambered in 300 blackout. The only reason why I didn't switch to 300 is because like I really just love that 556223 compatibility. I already have, like I said, the AR version. So these mags are cross compatible. You feel what I'm saying? It's like I got the Xbox and the PlayStation. So I got plenty of mags that I could run on this thing, 223. Um, it's not gonna be the quietest suppressed, but it is definitely going to take down that sound a lot. So when I was purchasing a suppressor, I wasn't trying to go for the most silentest suppressor i was just trying to get to something that would make it almost suitable without hearing protection and um you know flash reduction all the good stuff you know what i'm saying so i did purchase uh, i don't even want to say it y'all probably gonna be able to guess what suppressor i bought comment down below what you think i bought but like i said new muzzle device sights is going on this thing we getting the optic my optic cost 700 put two and two together bro my optic cost is 700 y'all know what i got you know what i got you feel what i'm saying uh, the sling will probably be here in the next two days. I did buy a new charging handle Brace I got a brace right here. My other brace comes in front and rear sights from Magpul But I also have the Daniel defense fixed front and rear sights So I'm not sure what I want to run yet pop-up sights or fixed sights I low-key like the Daniel defense fixed sights. They they, they kind of grew on me like I like the pop-ups But these are kind of nice. So I'm getting too ahead of myself, bro. This is supposed to be the unboxing video. I'm already jumping to what I'm going to do with it because I just have so many plans. Girl, I've been making plans for us. Girl, I've been making plans. Ooh, uh. Let's check that trigger reset. I've already done this a hundred times, bro. Like, but um, another thing that I was thinking about swapping out is this uh safety selector switch so this is ambi which means it's on the left and the right side you can control it on either side um i was really thinking about getting a 45 degree angle safety selector switch which means instead of going straight down it would be about right there so that means that i could manipulate it without uh changing my grip so i could be live fire pop it back up safety so it's not a full 90 degree and then you have to kind of fight it you know what i'm saying if i have it up it's on safe i flick it down fire 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 then when i want to switch back to safety i kind of gotta you know move my hand that was another point of interest as far as the trigger we are clear and empty obviously there's no mag inserted but all right so let's check that trigger reset Pretty smooth. I think this is a mil spec like six pound trigger. I could go ahead and swap that out. I kind of want to play around with the trigger on this. I don't know. I'm gonna see. It's probably gonna be the last thing that I touch. But once everything is suited up, I might play around with that trigger. I also was thinking about getting a different um, bolt catch and release because, as you can tell, it's so small and it doesn't really have any texture to it. They have different uh, catches that you could actually get. A better texture on it and a wider surface area right here so when you do want to lock that bolt back you could do that because right now it is kind of it's kind of hard to lock that bolt back with this but I mean right now it, it's not a main point of interest but like I said nothing is left out everything is getting upgraded like trigger charging handle muzzle device light handguard um I've been contemplating between an angle foregrip and a hand stop on this thing. I'm already giving out too much sauce, but <laughs> this right here is the M Lock Magpul angle foregrip. And I like the way this thing feels on it, but I've been running the hand stop on my AR. And I just really love the finish of that. So I'm gonna try both, man. I'm gonna try both. I did get a hand stop as well as the uh, angle foregrip. I'm gonna run both. And I'm going to see what really fits me. You feel what I'm saying? So we got two options for the brace. Two options for the front and rear sights. Two options for the under barrel. I got a sling coming in. Optic. 
This thing is about to get the best makeover of all time. I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Y'all better stay tuned. If y'all not subscribed right now, y'all gonna wanna subscribe. Y'all gonna wanna turn on the post notifications, all that. Follow me on Instagram to stay tuned for the next videos. You gotta, y'all boys better catch up, you know what I'm saying? Because this thing, y'all gonna wanna copy this. I'm telling y'all. Once this thing is completed, y'all are gonna wanna copy this. Especially when that can come in. I'm telling you, boy. Um, So back to what I was saying earlier. When I was shopping for my first ARP, I really wanted something that was chambered in 556 five, because I just love it. 300 blackout might be in the future if I want to get even more quieter. But um, the Daniel Defense DDM4 V7P obviously stood out to me just because I'm familiar with the M4 V7. But I was interested in the Mark 18. So this is basically a Mark 18 clone. If you're not familiar with the Mark 18, it's used a lot with the army actually. So um like Navy SEALs, bro. Like uh, I heard they took out Bin Laden. I don't know with the Mark 18. Like Barmi Dukhan, Barmi C4. you feel what I'm saying? It's been used on lots of deployments. The Mark 18 is king, man. Cause if the army is using it and they going to fight wars with it, special ops with it. You feel what I'm saying? Then, then you want that. You want what the army is using. That top grade, top notch stuff. So, definitely Mark 18 was top of my list. The only thing that kind of made me step away from it is it does have Picatinny on the left as well as the right side. It has Picatinny all over. The handguard is a little bit more fat. It does come with like a rubberized texture grip that you can put over it. But it makes the grip just overall fatter on the handguard, which I'm not a big fan of. I like that slim, thick, slim, thick with your cute ass. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like my rifles and my pistols like I like my women. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that was really the only thing. Um, I could throw Picatinny on here. They have M-Lock Picatinny rail attachments that I could throw on if I really want to make it Picatinny. But I will probably copy what I have with my uh, M4 over there. I'm just gonna throw some rail cover on it. I do have a flashlight that I wanna mount on it, a pressure pad, and it's gonna be nice. The only thing, the downfall of that, with this slim M-Lock handguard, um, placing my hand here and rapidly shooting this firearm will cause the barrel and the handguard to get really, really hot. So that's why the rail cover comes in. The under barrel attachment is gonna be key. Um, that's why I, I kinda like the angle foregrip. Um, gonna have to switch that grip up unless you're wearing gloves when you holding that thing bow 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 You gonna start cooking that hand like bacon boy. I ain't gonna lie. So that's where the mark 18 is a little bit better I ain't gonna lie, but Um, this is a 10.3 inch barrel. I did look at the BCM 11.5 inch It really depends what you really trying to do Um, I wouldn't say go anything shorter than a 10.3. This was the absolute shortest that I will go Especially for this uh, 556 two, two, three. Anything other than that, it's, it's, it's gonna mess up the gun. Like, I heard that that extra inch pause, every inch matters. So, the difference between a 10.3 inch barrel versus an 11.5, like, is a big difference as far as velocity because when you're shooting 556, velocity is the most important factor. But um, who cares about all that because I'm not really trying to use this for distance, bro. As far as my use with this thing, I really want to keep it under 300 yards. I don't really plan on SBRing it and putting on a stock, just a suppressor. Um, with my optic on there, I don't want to put no scope. A red dot would do me just fine. This is really going to be a CQB, home defense rifle, home defense pistol. Hmm, not me. Um, yeah, under 300 yards. I'm not trying to snipe with this thing, so the velocity will do just fine out this 10.3 inch up to 300 yards. That will probably be my max. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna really stretch this thing out past that other than when I'm at the range for fun. But for what it's intended to be used for, anything under 200 yards is just fine. Perfect little truck gun. I don't got the truck yet, but I got my truck gun. So when I do get the truck, you know what I'm saying? Throw the little can on, pop that little law adapter, tactical, law tactical adapter out. We rock and roll, man, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna have to be a backpack gun. But this thing is a little long with this muzzle device, so I don't think it will actually fit in my book bag. 
Uh oh. A little bit too long. I'm just gonna have to get a bigger book bag for sure, but it could be a duffel bag gun. Hold on. I got the little duffy, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know it could fit in here. Come on, don't play with me. Don't play with me, bro. I'm counting all day. It's a tight squeeze, but it look like you'll do it. Like the clock on the wall. If y'all see me out in public with this duffel bag, mine, y'all, business. Now go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Take go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Yo, yo, shots get fired. I gotta get behind cover though. Uh, uh, what here? Boy, having too much fun, man. I look like I'm ready to hit a heist. I look like I'm finna go on a heist, man. It's not suited up yet, and it's still, it's still pooping on y'all. You feel know what I'm saying? I don't want to use the S word. It's, yeah, this thing is, it look like the color is some, sh some, sh be quiet. It's like a dead can on there. Ah, <sighs> I can't speak highly enough of this thing. I haven't even shot it yet. I literally just got home. We're going to try these out at the range. Um... Probably this too, little angle four grip, just to get some uh, shots out this thing. But all of my attachments will be coming in in the following days. This is the beginning right here. This is the beginning of something great. Remember how it looks stock, because the way I'm about to turn this thing up, y'all probably not even gonna recognize her when she all dolled up. Finna get her hair done, lashes done, makeup. Uh. She finna get a BBL. I ain't gonna lie. BBL, her lashes, her makeup, her. She might get some lipo too. I don't even know for real. Like she about to get a, a whole makeover. So I'm telling y'all, y'all don't wanna miss it, man. Stay tuned. My second Daniel Defense. My first Daniel Defense pistol. I love it, man. I just love it. Like it's shorter than my arm. This thing is perfect. Perfect, I tell you. I'm going to keep playing around with her. I'm going to see <laughs> how she's spitting later. I'm going to take it to the range. <sighs> I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I ain't going to lie, baby. You fine, baby. You mine, baby. <sighs> we should take our time, baby. Let me just look at you. Let me just admire you. Not for real, though. Wait, you know what we're gonna do when we get alone later, right? Hey yo, what the Oh yeah. She's sleeping with me tonight. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Every time I get a new gun, she's sleeping in the bed with me. But she might not be a one night stand. She might sleep in the bed with me every night for the rest of my life. Then my home defense. <sighs> oh, you mine, baby. You not going nowhere. You trapped, you stuck with me. Why he talk to his gun like that? He weird. Shut up. I ain't asked y'all. <laughs> nah, but for real though, like, bro, I came up playing Call of Duty, like, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, like, I, I kind of stopped at Black Ops 3. They lost me at Black Ops 3, but, like, this is like a dream come true, bro, for real. Like, honestly, first and foremost, I want to thank God, you know what I'm saying? I want to thank God for blessing me and allowing me to pursue my dreams and, and really, like, do this big. Like, I'm very fortunate. I got a gun safe, AR, AK. AK pistol, AR pistol, hella Glocks, like, I'm blessed. But then I really want to thank y'all because without y'all support, none of this would be possible. Like, without y'all liking, commenting, and subscribing on my videos, I wouldn't be able to get things like this. This wouldn't be mine if it wasn't for y'all, man. So, shout out to the Guap Gang. Even if you're not subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe, but, <sighs> man. I don't I don't deserve it. I feel I feel unworthy. But God God bless me with it, so I'm worthy. Hey. I can't wait to go to the range. I'm over here yapping. Thank you guys so much. I really truly appreciate y'all. The man above. This the best I felt since when I bought my first Glock. My first ARP. It's so lovely. Your body on my body, baby. I'm about to catch, we about to catch a body in it, baby. 
a <sighs> I'm sorry y'all I believe that the upgraded video will probably be better than the unboxing because y'all gonna see my vision cuz I can see it right now I can see all the attachments on there y'all probably can't see that same vision I got but once I see it all suited up oh my gosh Ooh, give me the shakes start shaking Nah, I think that's all that caffeine that's that caffeine talking bro like come to grave digger mountain so I can batch you in your this that amazing grace nah for real though this that amazing grace comment what y'all think of this thing rated 1 through 10 did I make a good purchase for my first ARP or should I have went with the mark 18 let me know some or should I went with the BCM recce I don't know I feel like I made a pretty solid purchase. I really haven't seen too many videos of this on YouTube, so I'm going to be the first. If nobody else want to do it, nobody else want to step up, I'm going to be the first to drop a series on the V7P. And y'all going to see a lot of videos out of this thing because, like I said, it costs 2500 bare bones. 2500 So with all the attachments, this thing is looking like around $6,000 total. I'm about to spend six bands on this thing. Six bands, we're making content with it. I might just drop 100 videos on this thing. Got to make that money back. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all don't want to miss these vids. I'm going to catch y'all on my next one. I want this to be... I'm getting a phone call, bro. Where my phone at? I don't even know my phone. I'm getting a phone call. I don't lost my phone, bruh.